If I told you folks out there in Temecula, California, you could pull off a bird deal on a multifamily rental and probably get about 26% on your money and you only needed 105k to do it, would you believe me? This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the MLS Search and Nails Show. I'm James Wise. Today, I'm working with my man Jeff. Jeff, you're out there in Temecula, California, bro. Right, and as I teased, I'm gonna show you how to pull off a deal. Only gonna need 105k, and this thing should project out around 26% return on your money. Right now, here's the little kicker. Right, the little—I don't know if I want to call it clickbait. I, I don't know if that's a fair assessment, but I think a couple people watching this from the Temecula area might be a little confused, folks. You can't—you can't do that on a piece of real estate multifamily real estate in and around the city of Temecula. That's not possible. That is where you are from, Jeff. That is where you're investing from, and that's where you're going to stay. You do not need to step foot out of the Temecula area, but your money does, right? You need to send your money elsewhere. You send it out west, well, Midwest, right? I guess that would be, you send it out to the Midwest, which is east from where you are, right? There, I know geography, right? But that's what you got to do, right? Because the price points where you live, right? You can't do this kind of damage. Uh, you can't get this kind of business moving and going for that budget, right? That's what's happened to a lot of investors in California, right? You guys want to get in the game. You hear about all these people investing in real estate, but you can't do it because you don't have enough money because real estate in California is through the moon, man. It's okay, guys. Companies like mine, we help you. We help people like Jeff invest in markets where the deals make sense with moderate budgets, right? We handle the labor on the ground, property management, maintenance, construction, right? We'll do the whole shebang, but it starts, folks. It starts with the due diligence process because just because a property's cheap, doesn't mean it's going to make money, right? So you got to make sure you understand what you're buying and you know the market. And that's where we come in. That's where this show comes in. That's why I'm working with my man, Jeff, right? Jeff, I'm going to help you pull off a bird deal. But before any of the magic happens, bro, you got to know exactly what you're getting. I got to go through the numbers, the neighborhood, let you see exactly what it is I'm talking about to make the magic happen. And that's what we're going to do right after this. You might be wondering why I'm walking around in a bikini. Because this is America, that's why. Land of the free, home of the brave, the land of opportunity. Like the opportunity to click the link below and start investing today. Welcome back. Let's jump into the numbers, right? Because that's what it's all about. That's what makes this whole thing go down. Now this one just hit the market. Two days ago, and it's priced right where it needs to be. 80K, the address, 2210 West 101st, Cleveland, 44102. Solid, solid, solid C-grade neighborhood, okay? And if you look at the property, you probably wouldn't think uh, up front that it's a burr, right? Because it's actually in pretty darn good shape, right? But we still have to do some work to it, right? What you have to understand, too, is when you're looking at a unit like this, right, from afar, right, it looks good. It looks great from the pictures, right? The listing agent, her job is to make it look good. But when you actually get up close to this stuff, right, you see some, like, peeling paint, and there's going to be nicks and, and, and this or that. And, like, you know, right here you got a big hanging light, right? Like, you don't want big hanging lights in your rentals, right? You want to harden them, okay? So it looks good, but it's not purely rent ready, right? You're going to have to do some sprucing, right? But it's it's going to be relatively minor, okay? You're not going to need to do too much, uh, but there will be some cosmetic work that needs to happen. The kitchen could use a little bit of a facelift, right? Some colors are going to go a long way. But where we have some more of the cost is going to be here, right? 
We probably have, you know, three or so thousand dollars into tearing this garage down. We absolutely need to tear it down. Uh, it's completely unsafe. It's leaning. There would be no purpose to trying to salvage it, right? You still get a high rental price in neighborhoods like this, these C-grade neighborhoods, without the garage, right? It's not going to affect your rentability. So what we do in areas like this is we just tear these suckers down, right? We've got hundreds of properties like this in the portfolio where the garage has been torn down. And then you see a little bit of peeling paint here on the underside of the porch because we have some major water issues coming in from the roof, right? And like this bathroom, that's going to need some love, right? And uh, another big point of cost is going to be fixing up that roof because I got another photo here, right? You see all this water damage coming in, right? So it looks like we're going to need to to do a whole new roof on this thing, right? So all told, just a moderate amount of cosmetics, new roof, tear down the garage, right? You look at those two hot water tanks, they're looking like they're in good condition. Upgraded electrical panels, right? So most of your money's getting spent on new roof, cosmetics, and uh, tearing down that garage, right? So that reno, fully rent ready, ready to rock and roll, should be about 25000 right? So we'd be all into this thing for 105. What would that get us? A huge duplex like this right now, we go Section 8 and uh, open it up to cash paying tenants, go agreeable gray throughout, you know, those big old units. We're looking at a, a premium here, man. We're looking at seven seventy five, right? So that'd be fifteen fifty a month, eighteen six for the year. Of course you don't keep all eighteen six, right? We gotta factor in actual and estimated uh, operating costs, right? So I believe your clear NOI would be nine thousand two hundred eighty nine. And here's where it gets good, right? This is where the burst strategy comes into play, right? Buy, renovate, rent, refinance, repeat, right? We should be all in for 105 and then when we bring an appraiser in right beautiful renovated duplex like this brand spanking new roof no more issue with the garage beautiful cosmetic units bringing in a premium right 775 a piece that appraiser should be valuing this bad boy at 115 that means we created ten thousand dollars right we created ten thousand dollars with our hard work right we created ten grand now, when you refinance it, they're going to be appraising it based on that additional 10 grand, so they'll give you back 86250. Thus, meaning of your 105, you get 86250 back, meaning you only left 18,750 into the deal, and that would pencil out to a 26.2% projected return on your money. This, folks, is why people love the birth strategy, right? You're able to get a much bigger bang for your buck. You're able to continue recycling those funds, right? Because you don't have to hold 25% into the deal, right? You get to take as much of your money out as possible because you're doing things like creating that $10,000 of value by adding value to a distressed property. Now, for the deal to work, though, we got to be able to pick it up at their price, 80 k and I think a lot of investors are going to see the serious value here. So uh, we definitely don't want to try to lowball these folks. They pretty much know exactly what they're doing and they priced it perfectly. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.